Blockbuster Target 8 investigation raising serious questions about the legality of secret meetings held by city commissioners in Grand Rapids. Weeks and sometimes months before Grand Rapids city commissioners cast public votes on important issues, they meet secretly to discuss them. You are left in the dark. A lawyer for the Michigan Press Association tells us she believes the meetings violate the state's Open Meetings Act. Even the city's former attorney is speaking out against the meetings. Target 8 investigator Ken Colker is breaking this story all new at 6. Ken. Yes, Sue, the commissioners gather in secret closed door meetings to discuss roads, panhandling, backyard chickens, even government transparency. Well, hello, Ken, how are you? Good, how are you, Greg? Good. Thanks up. Thank you. We thought we'd. Uh sit in on your meeting here. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. This isn't a public meeting. No. No. Excuse me. That was Grand Rapids City Manager Greg Sundstrom blocking Target 8 from what is known as a three-on-one meeting. Usually the mayor and two city commissioners at a time, along with the city manager in a conference room on the sixth floor of City Hall. One commissioner short of a quorum. They usually meet every other Tuesday, the week before the regular full city commission meetings that are open to the public. Three identical secret meetings, one right after the other, divided up by the city's three wards. One of the basic tenets of our democracy uh, is the ability to know how government's functioning. It affects our votes. Um, you know, one of our most cherished rights is... Target 8 brought its findings to Michigan Press Association attorney Robin Luce Herman, who represents news organizations across the state. The courts, I don't think, would support attempts like this to um, avoid the Open Meetings Act. It's here that city commissioners first learn of and discuss important issues on the horizon long before taking them before the public. When we look at um, just a... Agendas from these meetings obtained by Target 8 through the Freedom of Information Act show they talk secretly about a backyard chickens ordinance three times before it was introduced publicly in December 2014. They met secretly again before passing the ordinance in February 2015, then twice more before making making it permanent last July. One, two, three, four, opposed. One, two, three, okay. They met privately four times about a panhandling ordinance before unveiling that to the public. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. Then there's the proposed ordinance to limit dogs and cats. Commissioners discussed it privately in October, five months before that went public. Commissioner Allen, have you seen him? A tip led Target 8 to investigate the meetings, which city officials say have gone on for about 10 years. Target 8 first asked in January to attend one of the secret meetings. I don't stand what you're doing here, Ken. That day, really Police don't. Chief David Rohinsky spent his entire morning giving the same presentation three times to separate sets of city commissioners. We're just here because we we're hoping to sit in on the uh, the meetings. So. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. no. Okay. Uh, well, Should those be public, though? The city manager insists the private meetings are legal and don't violate the state's Open Meetings Act because there's never a quorum and they don't deliberate. It takes four voting members to make up a quorum. We do not discuss anything and make decisions here in any way. But some former city commissioners say they did discuss issues. But everyone needs a safe space where they can openly discuss something of interest to their ward. And that, the Michigan Press Association lawyer says, is what violates the Open Meetings Act. And deliberations is very broadly construed by the courts. It's um, discussions, it's exchange of ideas, th things like that. If a consensus and um, uh, disagreements and questions all take place behind closed doors, you don't really know what your public officials are thinking or how they're deciding policy. And you, you also don't know that they're doing their due diligence because you're not seeing it. Last year, the city commission cast 829 votes at their public commission meetings. 99.3% were unanimous. Only six votes had any dissent at all, and just two failed. That, to me, is a red flag that there are deliberations going on um, outside of the public meetings. The um, MPA lawyer points to a court ruling in 1988 that found the city of Wyoming violated the Open Meetings Act 
with strikingly similar mini-meetings. The Court of Appeals ruled the Wyoming City Council was illegally getting around the Open Meetings Act by dividing itself into groups of less than a quorum to deliberate on public policy. Yeah, we were doing that. Carl Paganelli Sr. was on that Wyoming City Council when it held illegal meetings at a restaurant. The mayor, the city manager, and two city commissioners at a time just like Grand Rapids. He says secret meetings leave people wondering what a city is trying to hide. So it is a public's business. You people are taxpayers. You should have the right to know what our city, our mayor and our city commission is doing. I believe in that. I believe those meetings should be open. Even the Michigan Municipal League, which lobbies for cities including Grand Rapids, warns against what it calls quote-unquote sub-quorums. Grand Rapids Mayor Rosalind Bliss is president of the Michigan Municipal League's board. Target 8 tried to ask the mayor about this apparent policy conflict, but she did not return our calls. Target 8 tried again in March to get into one of the Grand Rapids secret meetings. We believe this goes against the Open Meetings Act. No. No. I do. This does not go against the Open Meetings Act? We do not believe that, Ken, no. Okay. No. So, I mean, what is... Ken, I'm not going to be on camera with you doing well, this. This is a backwards way of getting an interview. It's just it's unfair, a... Ken. Stop. Well, it, it, we believe this violates the Open Meetings Act. Please. Okay. Have you Ken, ever had no. any... Have you no. ever had any legal advice against this by your city attorney's office? Could you answer that? I've already answered your question, Ken. Go do something else during sweet, sweet. This isn't it. No, could I ask, have you ever had legal advice against this? No. So what do the city's attorneys say about whether these meetings violate the law? Tonight at 11, we'll hear from the recently retired city attorney who sat in on many of those meetings during her eight years with the city of Grand Rapids. She's now running for city commission. I'm Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker. Well, certainly interesting. What would be another option for the city, do you think? Well, there are some cities that, that hold um, workshop sessions okay. where, you know, they, they bring these out in the public, the city commissioners there, it's a quorum. They toss things back and forth and have those conversations in public. Okay, so that's another option. Looking forward to your story tonight at 11. Ken, thank you.